Hello, hello, and welcome back to the Hourglass. So today, or welcome if you're new. Hi, how are you doing? So this reading applies for every and anyone. Take it how it resonates. Again, all signs or zodiacs or just energies is what the person may be embodying or you yourself, all right? So yeah, the cards denotes the signs, but it's maybe just the energy as well, all right? So don't get stuck on signs, all right? So today we're going to do story of my life, which is basically a general reading. Could be love, money, what have you, career, what have you, but we're about to see. So let's begin story of my life i hope you guys are doing beautifully today all right so let's see let's see what's going on all my readings are timeless all decks has been cleansed and charged again take what resonate leave what doesn't not all of this the science synchronicities or messages are gonna apply all right, so story of my life starts out with personal boundaries. <laughs> For some of you, somebody's really trying to test that, all right? They're really trying to test what you're made of, all right? You could be very beautiful, very glowy. You may have this regal, a very powerful aura of yourself. And I feel like this is sort of like multiple mini series or episodes of transformations that you're going through at this phase or time in your life and that's because you know you overcome many obstacles i feel like you achieved a lot as well and somebody here is trying to test you or push your boundaries here this could be also you to them take it how it resonates tell me more beloved tell me more tell me more beloved <laughs> all right so we have intuition All right, you may be using your intuition at this time to deal with whatever this is that's testing you, money. So it could be over money. So, you know, automatically I got that some of you are going through something with a friend. We have 41, 14. That may be some type of synchronicity for you. This may be some more details to your story. So go ahead and do your homework, all right? When you're on this channel, you do your homework. You help me out. We are a team. You are my soul tribe. This is me and you community. This is our channel. So go ahead and do... Um, the synchronicity here, 4114 or possibly 4141 or 1414. Take it how it resonates. Yeah, so I'm seeing that, you know, you may be presented with a lot of opportunities at this time. Um, you know, you may be one commitment or somebody here may be one commitment and it's kind of pushing your boundary um, on trying to break you down. So you may have some type of suitor or something going on at work. Possibly somebody's trying to test your power. Again, I did feel like you're exuding this type of... Um, powerful energy or you have this powerful aura uh, about yourself all right and that's because you probably use your intuition a lot or you should be using your intuition at this time all right i feel like your intuition is very much on point they seem to be having a lot of changes episodes of changes or transformation maybe you're evolving in many different ways and it's due to really listening to that intuitive guidance all right maybe your body is telling you things or maybe you're just predicting you're very you have this premonition you you could see you're probably like a visionary where you could um uh see through things as well or you could pick up on changes before it happens or before the mask um the mass of people get to really understand what's going on i feel like you do have some type of abundance mindset and it reflects in your environment so you may have a lot of things whether you want to admit it or not um you have more than enough and somebody's seeing that this could be a very close friend that you work with a co-worker this could be even a long time friend that you may not know has like this maybe unhealthy competition with you so let's dive into some money tarot being that the money um card is hey all right i do feel like you're gonna go through some some really good changes here whereas you're gonna you just have to be patient all right be patient and hold your ground with your personal boundaries because I do feel some type of energy shifting. Maybe someone that you kept your eye on or a job that you've been waiting for. I feel like they may reconsider um, things about you. Use your intuition. you picking up on the energy right now. Right now. Something is going to come into balance, all right? Keep that faith. You're doing well. <laughs> yeah, some things may be changing here, you guys. In status as well. I feel like maybe you guys were going through some type of misery or conflict, but you kept the hope up. And I'm seeing that it's going to shift. All right. So let's see what's going on here with the money. All right. So at this time, you know, again, we have a lot of fives here. So um, let's see. So the shadow aspect of 555. Five, five, 
maybe somebody's creating drama for a lack of attention, all right? Or a lack of need of company. So be careful. We have five, five, five. <laughs> Couldn't get any clearer than that. So the light aspect of that is huge changes are unfolding. You possibly pick that up, right? Or it's going to happen. You may have that visionary look of that. But it says, hey, um, even though, you know, chaos is happening around you, please go ahead and do what suits your needs. Keep those boundaries up. Whatever you feel like your money's supposed to go towards, if it's your career, your children, if you have any, your family, maybe stocks, investments, do what suits your need at this time of conflicts because your intuition is very much on point, hey? All right. I feel like you could trust it this time. In fact, all the time you may have had this um wall up from really trusting or, you know, really taking heed and following through of the insights of guidance you're getting. But I'm seeing how you should. You really should. All right. All right. Some of you may have no idea or maybe at a standstill, but your intuition is working with you. You just need to be patient and you need to be very still because there's a lot of changes or a lot of chaos that's happening around you. So we have the Ace of Pentacles. So there may be a gift or there may be an offer. I did feel it with job, with the, your job or maybe an advancement is going to happen. Maybe somebody's going to offer you a gift. I feel like you should take it. Use your intuition. Have some type of discernment as well. Yeah, promotions, um, advancements, or even achievements is here. And you're going to be rewarded. So go ahead and accept that. You deserve it, all right? You're going to have some better options on what you've been getting. So go ahead. Trust that intuition. Tell me more about intuition. Okay. So when it comes to money and your intuition, I feel like you should, if you're having this issue, if it resonates, if, you ha if you're the type of person that seems to place the blame or point your finger on others, I'm feeling like you need to really take accountability with the, um, the jack of hearts. Hey, it's like really take a look at yourself. All right. And stay humble, you know, adjust yourself. If even if you're getting this guidance, I feel like you shouldn't really out it to others, because I feel like if you do again, remember, intuition is based off of your senses. Accompanied with what you're seeing beyond the surface. So you're looking deeper than what's in the physical and you're using your senses to um, ugh, to process what's going on here. So it's going to be different for everyone. Everybody's not going to get the same intuitive gu guidance. So I'm feeling like you should keep what you're sensing to yourself. Stay humble, all right? Because I feel if you try to come in and try to correct some type of conflict or misery, or misery you may be to blame or you may blame others. So just be very humble at this time. Because, you know, somebody may get out of hand and be very cocky with the things that they know. You know, they may be um, using their intuition in a very deceptive way. All right. So some of you may need to stay humble and keep what you know to yourself. It's like this is only for you to know. It's not for everyone to know at this time. So we have the Queen of Pentacles um, going here with the money card as a crowning energy. So I do feel like you do have a lot of insights or a lot of skills and achievement that you could impact your team or your family or whatever is going on. But again, this queen of pentacles showed up in, um, <laughs> in the, in my series, slow money is better than no money. And it's also saying that you have the skills, you have the, the tools, you have the talent, but please tone it down. Be humble because people may be watching you. There's a lot of fives here and fives takes people. It takes a network of people to create a change or conflict. Okay. So be, be humble. All right. Don't let that ego get in your way. All right. Take a look at your finance. Just take a look at everything that's going on around you. So let's go into some terror real quick. Tell me more, beloved. Tell me more, beloved. So we have the Knight of Wands. Yeah, very fiery energy, moving with a lot of passion, very flighty. So you may be um, in action here, you know, really moving forward on some stuff. Woo. Very fast. Keep those boundaries up. Somebody's watching and it's going to give you a promotion here. Yeah, I feel like you have the gusto here, you know, and you're doing what you need to do despite of what's going on around you. Some some people around you may be um, freaking out or panicking and you're like very level-headed. 
So we have the magician that wanted to flip. All right. So this is a very challenging card. This could be manipulation here when it comes to this gift. But again, use your discernment because with the ace of with the ace of pentacles, I'm seeing accept the gift, but it may be from somebody that's manipulative. Let me get someone that reverse magician, please. All right. So this may be someone that you defeated or you may have worked with or had something going on with and it it's ended it had ended and you know somebody was really defeated here okay so this may have ended take it how it resonates so you may end it you may have ended something with someone whether it's a job or relationship and somebody feels defeated while somebody else is feeling very freed or feeling really good about themselves this person could also have um, drinked over this issue of defeated, of being defeated. And we have the three of wands, hey? So with the magician, um, this could be in Virgo, a Gemini, or an Aries. We have fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. We have some air. This could be a, song, a strong Gemini. doesn't have to be. could be a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, water. So we have basically all the, um, the elements out here, right? Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. So somebody may be partying over this um, defeat. I feel like somebody lost. Could possibly be a race or a competition. Somebody just lost and um, somebody won. Somebody else won. This could possibly be you. Somebody got the promotion or the achievement, the gift. And somebody's really happy, fulfill, feeling fulfilled, looking out at a bright new future, you know, wanting to explore the new horizons here is what I'm getting. One more card, please. Temperance. Yeah. So be patient. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Swords. The truth is going to come out. All right? Somebody's going to have victory here. Somebody's going to come out of this challenging or conflicted time with others. This could be a change in your life. And, you know, everybody's just not with it. A lot of fives here. Five, five, five. That could be um, significance to you. But have faith because, you know, have patience. Be patient as well. Because a lot of things are being purged out of the life. Some some of this some of these issues may be purged out because it's done dead. It's it's like a dead case. This could have been dead weight that could have been holding you back, whether it was a mindset, a relationship, a job, a way of living. And I'm seeing that it's over now and you're more fulfilled. You're going to be more fulfilled, but there's some type of um, manipulative energy. So you may have some people in the midst of you that's very manipulative. They could have manipulate you in some type of job competition or some type of group competition. or Something is going on here where somebody's running a competition with you, but I'm seeing that they're going to be defeated or they feel very defeated and you're going to move on. You're going to want to explore your possibilities, your horizon here with the three of wands, wanting to leave behind and explore what's going on, but you need to have some type of patience here. All right, things are being balanced out for your safety, for your highest good. So that's why we have the Queen of um, Pen, um, Queen of Diamonds here, because it's like, be patient. You know, don't let that ego get in the way, right? Because you're gonna impact some lives here, but you need to be impatient. I feel like things are very excited or stirred up. All right, so the truth is gonna come out. You're gonna have this new beginning. I feel like you're gonna take some new actions here as well. After you take a look at your finances, because money is involved, so you may need to gather up some money or you may win a trip, a gift or an all, all expense paid trip to go somewhere and you need to like really not boast about it. It's really for you. It's not really for everyone to know. So yeah, so that's what I'm getting. Let's see what we have for the angel affirmation. So some changes are really coming your way, all right? Somebody's manipulating this thing or... Somebody's had to manipulate you, but I'm seeing that that's over. Start using your intuition more if you're not, all right? If, you're, if your intuition is telling you to be humble and you're out here throwing stuff in people's face and going on like you're all that, you need to chill out because just as you get things, you could lose them as well. So think twice, all right? Don't try to do anything. Okay, so this is what I'm getting. So... If you're thinking about manipulating someone or using some type of trickery to get what you want, it's being advised here to don't do that. This may not be you. This could be somebody that you're cross-watching for or somebody that's around in your energy circle. Somebody that you deal with every day. I'm feeling like with the queen of um, 
pinnacles here is take a look at what you're doing because you may be manipulating someone because of fear of defeat. Doesn't have to be you. It could be someone else, all right? So if you're thinking about doing some type of manipulation, uh, spell trickery, you need to think twice and use your intuition. Look at what you're doing. Look at yourself. We have two cards talking about look at yourself. This could also be about money. Maybe you want to manipulate somebody for money and it's saying, hey, do what suits your needs, but don't try to manipulate or trick anyone, all right? Have patience. Have patience to wait. Have patience to believe that the chaos, the conflict, the changes are happening so you could move forward to a new horizon, hey? All right? Don't get cocky. Stay humble in the near future. So in the near future, this is going to come up and you know you're going to know because it's you're gonna be given two choices to stay patient, to have faith, to trust your intuition, and then you're gonna have a next choice where you could manipulate someone, you could you could create a, a huge impact from your ego. So you have the ego path and then you have your higher self. So you have a choice in the near future, you're gonna have to make that choice. All right. Don't try to manipulate or trick anyone for any money, you guys, because it's gonna come back around. We have temperance. That's some Sagittarius energy as well. So, you know, the higher forces, your guardians, the almighty, whoever you believe in, they're preparing. They're orchestrating some things behind the scenes, all right? Yeah. Success. Exactly. So your success is going to be there, but you have two ways of getting that. Um, one is through your higher self, your intuition, or you could let your ego get to you and do some type of manipulation, some trickery, some spell work, whatever it is going on to get what you want about finances or power. Do not do that because it's going to have a re repercussion if you believe. So if you believe in yourself is what I'm getting. You have the power, but you need to insert that magical ingredient, which is one of them is patience and balance, all right? So I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. Again, I love you guys' comments and likes. And thank you very much for the donations to the channel. I'm working on some new decks. I'm going to be ordering two new decks um, with uh, the energy exchanges that you guys sent in. So thank you very much. And uh, tune in tomorrow for your Divine Masculine's energy update. And I do have some shadow work spreads coming up as well, which is not for the faint-hearted. So if you're easily triggered, please don't tune in because I don't want to have to block you for your negative comments, all right? It's going to be some pretty heavy stuff because we all have shadow work to do. Whether you're on a twin flame, a soulmate, you're just into dating around or temptations, whatever your story may be, we're going to have those uh, shadow readings going on as well, all right? So thank you very much, you guys. I hope you're enjoying your Sunday. <laughs> Sunday fundy, right? So talk to you guys later. Ciao.